the 650th anniversary of Julian of Norwich was celebrated by all kinds of Christians in all kinds of ways all over the world. And all these celebrations received a blessing that was a sign that after almost 500 years, the often bitter divisions between Catholics and Protestants are being healed. To all those participating, I willingly impart my blessing as a pledge of God's tender and compassionate love for all his children. A sign that Julian of Norwich can also play a role in healing the thousand-year division of the Church into Orthodox and Catholic can be seen in this book, I Saw Him and I Sought Him, Julian of Norwich and the Holy Icons. The author, John Michael Mountney, now an Orthodox reader, is the former warden of the Julian Shrine in Norwich, Julian was given her showings because she asked for a bodily sight, and this book finds links between Julian and the orthodox tradition of gazing on holy icons. It places passages from Julian and the liturgies of both Western and orthodox traditions opposite full-page colour icons. There are directions on how to pray with icons, and the hardback book can be propped open and the items used for contemplation. In the icon of the Mother of God, Mary lovingly supports the child with her left hand while her right hand points him out to us. He's never the baby, but always the small man, and he blesses us with his right hand. His left hand holds the open gospel with the inscription, I am the way, the truth, and the life. In this icon, Gabriel greets Mary O most pure mother of God, what praise is worthy to be offered, and by what name can you be called? And so I greet you as I was commanded to do. Rejoice, you are full of grace. Julian writes, It was this wisdom and truth in her that showed her the greatness of her maker and the smallness of herself, whom he made. And it was this that made her say so humbly to Gabriel, Behold God's handmaid. I saw him and I sought him, Julian of Norwich and the Holy Icons, the friends of Julian of Norwich.